Hey there, are you looking to grow your audience online? If so, a speaker page is a must on your website. It's an easy way for people to find you to let you know that you're available to be booked to speak before their audience, in their podcast, on the virtual summit, whatever it is. Speaker pages are an absolute must if you're ready to take your business to that next level. Let's talk about the specifics that need to be on your page. Hey there, if we haven't met, my name is Dara. I'm a web designer for solopreneurs that are ready to get their brand of promotion and seriously make an impact online. So what does a speaker page need to have? First of all, a speaker page has to have your bio. This is a great page for you to be able to send people after they've already booked you. It makes it easy for them to take the information that they need without having to email it back and forth. So I always suggest my clients have a short bio and a long bio on there. Short bio is usually about three sentences, and a longer bio is a little bit longer, maybe two to 300 words. The reason is that some people need more information for their promotional materials, and some people just don't have the space for it. So what do you even put in the bio? Think of it this way. A bio is not your resume. It's someone's introduction to you. Make it exciting, make it interesting, make it relatable, make it some way for someone to connect with you. I usually put in my bio that I travel full time, not because it's at all applicable to me designing websites, but because it's the connection point that people who have dreamed about traveling full time, people who have done it, people who are digital nomads, whatever it is, it's just something interesting about my life that other people connect to. So what is that for you? Do you run marathons? Do you, you know, watch a certain show? Whatever it is, make something interesting in your bio. It does not at all have to be related to your business. The second thing that you want to make sure to put in there is kind of an I help statement. What do you do? Who do you help? How do you do it? What is the purpose of it? Make sure that it's clear in there who you help and how you help them. You know, if I'm a web designer for solopreneurs who are ready to give their brand a promotion, that lets people know who I work with, right? I work with single-person businesses. I don't work with corporations. How I help them, I design websites. I help them up-level their brand. That's an I help statement. Then the last thing you want to make sure to have in your bio is a call to action. Don't leave this out. I see it missed all the time, and it's a missed opportunity for you to grow your audience and further connect people. Maybe promote your freebie, promote your group, promote your podcast, whatever it is. Give a way for people to connect with you further right there in your bio. Get, to get started, go to and then list your website. That doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. Don't overthink it. But don't miss that step. It's really critical to really making the most of your speaking opportunity. All right, so we got your bios on there. Another thing we want to make sure to have is headshots. And I love to mix this up, have three to five headshots, just to make sure that people have exactly what they need without having to go back and forth with email. So I love to do square headshots, a horizontal headshot, a vertical headshot. Make sure the ones that have some space off to the side so they can put words on top of it if they need to. Put those on there and make it easy for them to download exactly what they need. So we have your bio, we have your headshots. Another thing to do for people that you're promoting yourself to is to list possible speaking topics. What do you want to talk about? If I asked you to come talk to my audience today, what would you want to give a talk on? So I love to do these as three speaking topics. It's a good number to let people know about what you do without overwhelming them. And do it in a way that the headlines are what you would name your talk. Make it interesting, right? Don't say, I talk about branding. Make a fun way to say that. And then underneath it, give about a two-sentence overview of what that would entail. Let them know a little bit more information. And once again, make it exciting. You're a salesperson at the heart of it. No matter what you do, you sell and you market yourself. So make sure to do that here as well. Something else to consider having on your speaker page is a promotional video. If you're really serious about getting on bigger stages before bigger groups, especially if you would like to do in-person events, consider having a video editor help you make a promotional video. It could be a video of you talking and then they put some photos in there. If you've spoken on stages before, have that in there. But a promo video is a great way for people not just to 
uh, to see you, but to also to hear you, to hear how you talk. It's a great thing to have on there. It does not have to be long. It could be a minute or less. It doesn't have to be a huge deal, but it's just a great edge and shows people that you're really serious about your speaking career. Another thing that we want to make sure that every single speaker page has is social proof. This is a great place to put places that you've spoken before. So whether those are logos of podcasts or um, summits or groups that you've spoken to, put those in there. If they, um, if you have links to, you know, podcast episodes, your YouTube videos that you've done, put those on there. And you also can just do testimonials. I would not, however, do testimonials from clients. Make sure that these testimonials are specific to your speaking because that's what we're selling here, right? We're not selling your services. We're selling you as a speaker. And so if you have testimonials of people who have hosted you before or someone who's heard you talk before, this is a great place to put that. The last thing that we want to make sure that every single speaker place has is a way to contact you. There has to be a call to action on here. How do, what do people do? How do they get a hold of you? How do they book you? I love doing this in a way that makes it easy for people to contact you in the way that they feel the most comfortable. So have a contact form, list your email address, and put in links to your social media profiles. That gives people multiple options for them to get a hold of you in the way that makes them the most comfortable and makes the most sense for their life. All right, so now you are ready. You have all the information that you need to make a great speaker page on your website and start getting booked on stages in front of audiences that will really allow you to grow your business to the level that you're desiring. If you need any help with that, make sure to check out the links below. I have a handy-dandy infographic for you so you can remember everything that your speaker page has on there.